Good morning and happy Monday. Look who's back. Mr. Tony McEwing is back from a long, uh, well-rested vacation. They, some do. Yeah, sure. I said last week that you were on vacation. Well, Hector knows because he's here in town. But. And uh, they follow us as well on Twitter and, and everything. So anyway, good morning and welcome to our Fox 11 Hangout on Air. Every week we hang out now, Mondays and Fridays. And yeah. today we have two guests that we're expecting. We've got Maya Mitchell. She's on the show called The Fosters. Young actress, beautiful Maya. Um, also, we have another actress, Kathleen Robertson, who is on uh, the new show called Murder in the First. I think we hung out with Nicole Ari Parker last week, the wife of uh, Boris Kojo. And, oh, uh, okay. and, he, and uh, what is she doing? She's in that show, Murder in the oh, First. Okay. Uh, it's a new show on TNT. It's supposed to be really good. It Could has you possibly have a more beautiful family? No, and they have kids that are also equally as beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't but, always work out that way, you know. Just because you have two beautiful people, don't mean you're gonna have two, be you know, you're gonna have beautiful kids. Totally, but yeah, they. I'm did. just saying, it they doesn't did. genetically, it doesn't always work out that way. But Kathleen, <laughs> Kathleen is I mean, here today. <laughs> not, not Nicole. Nicole was here last week, so Kathleen is here, and she's just as gorgeous. Um, and then who else is coming in? I think that's it. And then we have, of course, our. Now I forgot how, every time I, I talk about Game of Thrones, I have the song in my head. Yeah. Who watched it? Who watched You watched it. I did watch it. Yeah. We'll talk a little bit of Game of Thrones. We'll warn you before we do so we don't give you any spoilers. Um, and then uh, and then we'll, we'll let you know when we stop talking about it. We're not... Anyway, we're going to talk a little bit about that as well. So how's everybody? Did everyone have a nice Father's Day? I did. Yes. Nate, of course, has little ones. Um, happy belated Father's happy Day, belated. Nate. And did, did they do anything special for you, Nate? Did you get a breakfast in bed and all that good stuff? I got an hour and a half massage. That was pretty nice. Oh, like a, like a, wife, like a real From one? Wife? Like a real massage? Yeah, yeah. Uh, from from a, from, a from, a from a masseuse, masseur, yes. or your wife? There's masseuse, masseur, or your wife? Oh my I, goodness! I thought masseur was the general term. Masseur is a uh, male. Masseur and is a male. Masseuse is a female, I think. Then masseuse, masseuses. Yeah. Masseuse. And, and your wife, your wife was okay with that, huh? Why? Well, I'm just asking. Why wouldn't she be? <laughs> I'm just asking. You are special today. I'm not trying to stir the pot or anything. I'm just mm -hmm. asking. Why? <laughs> you were trying. Yeah. Yeah. So um, like dramatic. I'm just asking. Wow. I'm just Wait, asking. Like, maybe this is the confusion. Like massage actually meant massage. <laughs> yeah, right. Tony, not the type that you yeah, go to. Tony. <laughs> okay, you know, you know, I wasn't talking about. Where are you? You know, you guys are a bunch of smut brains. I was not talking about oh, that kind of. Oh. He got all the Oh, no. He turned it off for a few days. And then, you know. Um, I, it feels like he's been gone a long time. Why is that? I don't know. I guess that's a good I don't know thing, where right? your I don't know where your minds are. Uh, you, know what I, you know what I forgot I, to put up is our, uh, is our graphic. Hold on. Keep talking. Let me put this up. Here. It was the second... Uh, Father's Day without my uh, father. He passed away in 2012. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Ken. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm good. Did you have a great relationship with your dad, Kim? Not really. Uh, it was uh, a tad bit estranged until the very end. Okay. You yeah, see, I, I get that. I totally get that because I, I did not have a great relationship with my dad either. That's interesting because a lot of people around us um, did not have really great relationships with their fathers. No. Um, that's something interesting to note here in our newsroom. I'm, yeah, I'm just, uh, there are many people in our on, on air. Not uh, me. I have no, been, Maria has had a great relationship yes, with Yes, I love my dad. We're uh, and Steve very Be close. Steve Edwards actually. had a great relationship with his dad. Yeah. I think you two are the only two. <laughs> the, the really great thing is that um, he and my mother, they divorced in 87, and right before he passed, um, they remarried. Oh, oh really? wow. She's uh, like Taylor. Your mom did that, right? My, my mom, you, is, now, my mom is now married to her first husband, oh, who... Was the guy she was married to before she married my dad? Uh, so yeah. Okay. 
My dad, my dad was her second husband. I wonder if they're going to take our hangout shot. Hold on, you guys. Um, they might take our shot. I, I don't know. Just so you know, if you're just joining us, um, they usually take our shot here for the news here on Good Day LA. So you're, you can be on our local station. Now, now, Nate is the only dad in the hangout, right? Kempton isn't a dad, is he? No. No, just Nate and me. Yeah. Just Nate and myself. You're, you're not a dad. Oh, Kia, are you a parent? Where are you dad? Yes. Yes. We actually oh. have five children. We had a oh. baby. Okay, yes. that's, that's, not, that's not a family, Kia. That's a choir. Yes, we have a teenager. There's something inherently flawed with the universe right now because we have... We actually have two, one teen and another one that's going to be a teen, and then I found out I was pregnant again. So now we oh. have a one-year-old and oh teen, uh, oh, yeah. two teenagers, well, basically. You, well, you know, you know, Marie, you know, they're like 33 years separating Maria's first child and her. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was that her. You know how Maria that's is, her? Tony. <laughs> <laughs> My okay, I, I'm I'm exaggerating, Kia, but not by much. <laughs> Maria, hit him again, please. Yeah. Balance in the work. <laughs> okay, Kia, tell Kia the truth. Yeah, my son is 27. And your current son? And my my. Current, they're both my current son. Well, your other son, though, he's all doing his own life. After my all, former son. son. Your second child, you mean. My, my younger son is three. So Hello. I Hello. I didn't exaggerate that much. And a three year old. So, wow. I know okay. how you feel. Okay, exactly. I, basically, I, I, I can totally relate. So she's yeah. slapping me like I said something like really awful. It's like, no, I'm not that far off. <laughs> Yes, like, well, my kids discuss it all the time. They're like, well, by the time the baby starts um, elementary school, we'll be in college. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, yes, yes, we're starting all over again as you leave. Now, was that now, Kia, um, and, you know, of course, you, you, you know, you don't have to disclose anything you don't want to disclose, but, of course, that's why I'm asking because I want you to disclose it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to, but. but so was that so was the last pregnancy planned? Oh no. Um okay. I found out when I went oh, to the ER to get rid of the stomach flu that I kept getting over and over again for the last <laughs> couple of months. <laughs> it was actually morning sickness, is that what it was? Yes. The doctors oh, were like, God. Well well, I'm not quite sure if you're gonna be disappointed about this because the doctor started asking me about family and all of that and I was wondering why he was I, like I thought that was weird small talk. And yeah. he said, well, you might want to sit down. I don't know if I'm about to upset you or not, but he said, you don't have the stomach flu. You're actually about three months pregnant right now. And oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, why, I was glad. Why was that not even a consideration for you, like, to not even? Did you think that you couldn't have any more yeah, children? Yeah, right. No, I mean, I just, I thought we were done. Like, we had, our youngest was eight years old at the time and I was like yeah we're done we had gotten rid of all the baby stuff like we we yeah. were like we have four kids and that's two boys yeah, like, two yeah. girls and but Kia, <laughs> Kia, Kia, get busy. Kia yeah, yeah, yeah. y'all was busy and okay, <laughs> y'all was y'all was busy and <laughs> so you know something something there and you know <laughs> can you have to tell them the, the story about your husband and uh, the MPs oh yes so <laughs> okay quick question how old well I guess you guys have a little common sense to pull from now but how old would you say I am if you didn't know how old any of my children were Okay, let me look at, let me, well, hold on, put on full screen. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> My so goodness, get, Tony. Get a good look at her. Yeah. You know, see, the fact that Oh, about my God, you look like you're thing, in high Kia. school, Here's Kia. the thing, Kia. <laughs> Here's the thing, Kia, you know, Seriously. you know, I'm black. I, I don't know if you you're noticed black? that. I know, yeah. I, I don't, <laughs> No, I don't know if you know. Really? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a revelation. So, here's the thing. Now, you know that the whole black don't crack thing. 
So mm-hmm. you, got that, you got that going on. So if I were, if I didn't know you, I would, I, I would say you were in your twenties. I no, I, I'm younger. I seriously think you're like nineteen. No, I would say she's in her twenties. That's <laughs> what look that's at, what I get a lot. Look at your complexion. You look like you're in high school. It is the most yeah. beautiful skin. So, so since so since you li- so since you obviously uh, look decades younger than you are, how old are you? <laughs> I will actually be thirty six in July. Got the front. Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. You have you have to tell them the story about your husband and the MPs. Oh, okay. So my husband, um, we were both in the military and met in the military, so um, we were hanging out basically at my husband's barracks in the, um, like, the common area, and someone actually called the MPs saying that he had a teenage girl ah! in the, the barracks with them, mm-hmm. and um, he was like, no, this is my wife. I had to actually pull out my driver's license to prove that I was not a teenager and I was a grown woman, so. So, so, so did did anyone even consider that maybe you were his daughter? No, because he looked he was too young. He was like twenty one at the time. He was oh. twenty one and I was nineteen. So, okay. yeah. <laughs> and so at nineteen, you looked like you were twelve. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what is your, uh, just really quickly, and I know, guys, I'm sorry for doing this, but do you have, what do you use on your face as a, like a moisturizer? What do you, because you really look, your your skin is so supple, like it looks like a teenager. <laughs> Seriously. I, I actually um, use a lot of um, Cetaphil, like the Cetaphil lotion. I have eczema really bad, so I take yeah. care of of wow. my skin like really well so, so I you use the- Cetaphil? Because I have Cetaphil cleanser. I'm, I'm being very very legitimate here because honestly I'm just wondering what you use because your skin is so nice. Yes it's um, Cetaphil and then I also use shea butter so. Shea butter? Straight up shea butter on your face? Yes I'm like I'm all into the natural all natural products and everything like that. So, which shea butter? Which shea butter? Uh, there's a company called Shea Moisture. They have a whole line of natural products. Like you can find them at Walgreens, and um, I use all of their products from my hair to my toes. I use all Shea Moisture products, and they're all natural. Great. S- okay, I'm gonna look it up right now. S H E A. Well, it's, it's interesting that you you talk about uh, eczema because I I I battle that occasionally as well, and it's for me it's seasonal almost. Uh, you? Yeah, yeah, huh. yeah. It's it's seasonal. It you know it breaks out at unexpected times, and you never I never know mm-hmm. when. Does that happen to you as well? Yes, yes, it is. You just don't know it when. It's like happen. um like I would get scars and everything all over my skin so I just I looked around until I found something that just restores my skin back to what it used to be yeah. um, every time I have a breakout and just the the Shea Moisture line they're like the holy grail yeah, product for my entire hair it's like do they have skin too? huh? It says, it says body collection yeah, but that's body. That's different from face. Well, your face is part of your body. What yes, I use. I don't. I don't use any <laughs> well, for the face. But yes, they have. They have like a shea, shea line, shea moisture, um, shea butter line. So if you look for it, you'll find all that's the shea lotion and everything. I just want to know exactly what you put on your face. <laughs> It, it's the the lotion, the um, shea butter lotion. Like it, you should see an orange, everything wrapped in an orange label. So I'm if you look at it right now, yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. The you know what else I've heard is good. For it. There it is. Shea butter. I think this is it. Let's see. All mm-hmm. right. Okay. Let's go on. You know, yeah. <laughs> what I wanted. I know. It's, oh, there's a face cream. No, that's L'Occitane. That's different. Let me get that. Yeah, that's not Okay, moisture. Okay, I will get down to the bottom of this. 
If I started <laughs> moisturizing my face, I'd be just Your skin looks great, Maria. What's the what's I have a lot of makeup on. Look at her. <laughs> That's that's good. I mean, that is fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. Now, look who has joined us. Are Hello, you Maria. Joined us. How are you? Doc. Is that you, Doc? Gary. Who's Gary? No, that's not Doc, is it? Hello, I'm... Gary. Uh, where are you? Where uh, are you? Here. Oh. Oh. He dropped out. That's not Gary so here from, from uh, the Inland Empire, is it? Is that Gary, like Dr. Gary? That's you know Gary that? Levin. Yeah, I oh. think. Yeah, I know. I don't remember him. Um, okay, so listen, it's the top of the night. I have to go in and do my weather hit, Tony. Maya Mitchell is coming in. She's stepping off the set right now. Uh, and I think well, she's I'm not going to do her, so you have to. Uh, I have to do a quick weather hit at the top, and then I'll be right back, okay? Maya Mitchell, M-A-I-A -A Mitchell. She's on the show called The Fosters. Which I've never watched. I haven't either, but um, we've had a couple of guests from that show before. Um, it looks like a cute show. I don't remember what network it's on, but we'll ask her. We'll ask her about her show. And she's a darling little girl. I think she um, hails from uh, New South Wales in Australia. And we'll be talking oh about... Oh, my gosh. Australia. Hey, let me see your doll. Let, let me see the doll. Let me see the little doll. Where? Where? Oh. Higher, higher. I can't see. You need to lift yeah. it up. Oh, look at those eyes. Look, look at those that smile. eyes. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, baby. You're so cute. Hi. Hi, baby. Oh, Hi. Hello, baby, baby. Hey, sweetheart. Oh. Nate, don't do that. <laughs> oh, so cute. No, you need to stop torturing your child, Nate. I'll be right back, okay? I'll be back. Hi, sweetheart. Try to fix her hair, Nate. She's older. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi. Hi, cutie. Oh, she just so precious. Is she, oh, is she waiting? Oh, she's Hi. almost two. Awesome. She'll be two in August. Oh, my goodness. Oh, she's just so cute. So, how are you, Tony? <laughs> I'm fine, Ayub. It's good to see you as always. How are you? You too. Yes. You had a good vacation, Tony? Sorry, I did have a. I had a good staycation. I stayed at home. I didn't do anything. I didn't go anywhere really. Okay. I thought. I thought you might have snuck a trip up to England without telling me. Ayub. <laughs> Ayub. Do you, do you think for one minute that I would come over to England and not alert you to the fact that I was there? I would be sitting on your doorstep. That that's good. As long as that's the case, then we're happy. <laughs> because that is what would happen if I came to LA. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So um, I'm messing around with Maria's controls here, which is always a dangerous thing for me because you know yeah. how. You oh, know Tommy, a, don't you dare! You oh, have a you know how to kill the hangout. Inadvertently uh, ending the hangout. <laughs> it's Tommy. lagging. <laughs> lagging we put you in timeout. <laughs> I, I won't. I promise I won't click on anything because if I if if I do, you all will disappear. Like you remember that? I'm still traumatized from when that happened the last time. <laughs> then we're Which gonna time? Thing that said Tony killed the hangout. <laughs> we need I, a, uh, we need to get uh, get you a T-shirt that says I know how to kill hangouts. I, I'm yeah. really good. At, so so um. Nate, so who who's who's your little? How many kids do you have? Twelve. <laughs> Just one until October, then two. You have you have what? We have one on the way, so we, we have one now, and uh, okay. in October we'll be picking up another one. And who's the little darling we have here? This is Misha. Misha, what a pretty name! Who who came up with that name? Say hi, to Uncle Tony. Uh, Mama. M Mama came up with okay. Misha, is is that is it, is there any significance to it or? Uh, it was just we were looking for a unique name because uh, you know it's so hard. I mean, you know, if it's a guy, just be like, hey, Bob, Tony, Joe. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, if it's a girl, it's like, how about how about Lindsay? Oh, can't do that. I know too many bad Lindsays. How how about um, you know Sarah? Oh, I know too many bad Sarahs. So it's <laughs> Misha. That's 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 it's not, so it doesn't. I mean, it's a pretty name, but it doesn't have, like, it's not any specific language and has any specific meaning or anything like that. 
I think it's it, it's uh, a Bible name somewhere. There's like some obscure Daddy? Bible reference that means like hope or or Mama? something like that. Mama. Oh, one of Job's daughters. Huh? Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, well, it was Job's daughter. That didn't work out too well for her. Being the, uh, being the astute Bible student that you are, you would know that. Who? Nick. Nick, aren't you aren't you like a big Bible student kind of guy? I, I hang out and watch as much as I used to. Plus, I don't know if that qualifies me, but uh. <laughs> actually, actually, Misha is the diminutive of Michael. Yeah. And, and yeah. Michael is he you said that for? Was, you said that with such authority, are you? What is your source? Well, um, well, you, my favorite, one of my favorite websites is a place called BehindTheName.com. And I oh. go there as a writer to find names for my characters. Right. And it is a very, very good reference. Now, Misha is typically uh, the name of a boy uh, in Russia. Uh, as you know, famous actor Misha Collins is on Supernatural. There's a Russian name for a boy, diminutive of Michael. But there you go. Yeah, I know it means something. In, there's like a few languages that mean something in, like Russian, Hebrew, something else. So. Yeah. And you're none of those, so congratulations. Okay. You little melting pot, you. Okay. Oh, you little melting pot. Okay. Hi, Maria's gonna be here in a minute. She'll she'll be. I'm just I'm just filling space. Sure, great. I'm, I'm nobody. Welcome back to my yeah. <laughs> Tony, 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 Tony. Yeah. You liar. Nobody. You liar. You're one journalist. <laughs> I'm just I'm just a big old space filler. Rock star. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Arachia? Kim. Have you been featured on Jimmy anymore lately? Oh, have I been featured on what? Jimmy Kimmel. Who? Jimmy Kimmel show. Have you no, been on there? I haven't. I haven't made any appearances on Jimmy Jimmy Kimmel in a while. As far as I know, I wasn't. The last time I think I made an appearance on Jimmy Kimmel was during the earthquake. That earthquake that we had in the studio. I think that was the. That, I, I think I think you need to engineer an appearance. Last time, um, St. Patrick's Day. I think that was the last time. I think that yeah, on St. Patrick's Day. I think that was the last time I made Jimmy Kimmel. Or yeah, Ross, not yourself and Bobby D were there. Yes, I think that was the last time. Yes, no. I, although I will say this, and I don't know what episode it is. I did do an episode of Gang Related. Um, ah. Yeah, you that's. A, that, did you play a news anchor here? I, I play a news anchor on Gang Related. I know that's a stretch. Um, you know, it took it took a lot it took a lot of of work to to really convince you know to come across as a convincing news anchor. But um, I think I finally did. <laughs> did you get to meet the star? Any of the star, or like, did no, they usually no, just put they, you in a like shoot your bed and then? No, yeah. It? They, the the uh, director came into the studio, oh, and um, the producer, one of the producers, actually came into the studio, and handed me the script, and I just, I just did it here in the studio. All right. Oh, Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. Yeah, Julie Chang just did a drive by. Mm -hmm. And a special a way. To drive by. So Maria should be coming back because I don't know where she is now. Why isn't she back right now? She she already did a weather hit and she's. She's keeping. Uh, she's keeping our star waiting. I don't know what the deal is. Um, Maya, if if you want, why don't you just come and sit down? Because I don't know what Maria's doing. But why don't you come? So why don't you come in? I'll, I'll I'll hang out with you for just a second. Oh, and, uh, no, forget you. You're late. You missed your chance. You missed your chance. The big black man has taken your place. This guy. We call it the Tony Hangout. Yeah. He preps for the ten o'clock, and he he does all these things like blog. He actually works, you know. Hi, I'm Maria. Hi, nice to meet you. We're meeting for the first time as well, you guys. So. You are so adorable. I love your hair. Look at Thank that. That is so know. cute. So Maya Mitchell is joining us. I don't know if Tony was able to do a little quick introduction yet. But no, I didn't get to do it. Yeah, she ran in here and Oh, I did. Okay, all right. Good, good, good. So Maya, this is our microphone right here. Okay. You don't have to talk to it though, but it's like okay. it's like right there. And then here's a little camera. By the way, it's a very casual, kind of an informal look at what we do here behind the scenes. This is our newsroom back here. 
this is of our producers and writers and the assignment desk and stuff. So they kind of get a little sneak peek of what we do here behind the scenes. And uh, we get to hang out with a bunch of people from all over the world. I don't know if you can see their little thumbnails here. Yeah. Hi guys. So, um, <laughs> so you might Hi. find uh, one of the stars on the show called mm. Fosters. And I forget which network it's on. Right ABC now. Family. ABC, ABC Family. That's right. And quickly I want to introduce you to everybody in the Hangout. Here in the U.S., ABC Family. And ABC Spark in ABC Canada. ABC Spark in Canada. And then ABC um, Spark. Fox 8 in Australia. You should know that. Those are your That's peeps. all I know, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's as far as my knowledge goes. Quickly, I want to introduce you to everyone in this here. Uh, this is Nick. He's with us from uh, Dallas. Hi. Texas. Good morning. Nick is in Colorado. Hello. Kim is in Kansas City. Hi. Kia is in uh, Topeka. Kempton, you're getting a lesson in geography for America. Kempton is in Calgary, Canada. So Hi. I have a friend from Calgary. All right, that's cool. You might know him, Kempton, or her. Yeah, right. John is in uh, Riverside. Hector, uh, as well, is in the Inland Empire. Good morning. Gary is in the... Gary, you're in the Inland Empire, yes? Yes, Riverside. Riverside, that's right. Yes. And uh, you is also in, um, in the UK, so he's okay. on the other side. Yeah, but Hello. You know. Hello. Anyway, um, YouTubers, hey, thanks for joining us. If you have a question, um, just leave it in our comments box, and I will get it to Maya, or tag anyone in the Hangout here, and I will get it to her, okay? I'm just opening up our Q&A app, so hopefully that will work here very shortly. But in the meantime, while we're waiting, so let's talk about the show, The Fosters, uh -huh. and your character is Callie Jacobs, right? Correct. Yeah. Is she from Australia in no, the show? She's no, she's an American, so you, I try to, at least. How, now, how do you do that? How do um, it did took you a little take, while. Uh, some language or, or uh, classes to? Um, I didn't. We have a lot of American television in Australia, so we kind of hear it a lot. A lot. Um, a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. British a lot. and American. I was in Melbourne, and that's all I saw. Yeah, just American shows. It's a lot, and so yeah. we we are constantly hearing it, and um, so that, that's why it's so you. much easier for you guys. It is, I think. I, I sympathize with you guys because people try to do my accent, and I haven't met an American that can pull it off yet. No, so just good day. Yeah, but mm -hmm. then oh, that's even different. That's a different one. Yeah. No, that's Australian, that's Australian. but it's not quite Australian. Not quite. Not <laughs> not quite. quite. <laughs> anyway, keep looking at it. You sound adorable. Um, so Callie is, um, I, I was reading a little bit about the show, um, Callie and her little brother, mm -hmm. yes, um, yes, are foster children? Or? Yeah, so the, the show is foster children. Yeah, so okay. the, the show is about two mums raising a family of biological and fostered and adopted kids. Mm -hmm. um, so there's two twins, there's a biological son, and um, me and my brother play foster children who in the first season get introduced into the show and as a part of the family. Um, and so in the second season, basically, um, the little brother's been able to be adopted, but we've found out that my character, Callie, um, has a biological father that she didn't know about. Um, oh. So it's like kind of this big twist, and yeah, mm -hmm. so that's kind of how the second season picks up. Oh, my gosh. If you guys have a question, by the way, just get my attention, and um, I will go to you. Kim, Kim, yes, go ahead, Kim. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> it's got a lot of time down under. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. I, uh, Australia is my favorite country outside the U.S. I, and I just couldn't resist saying it. Okay, here's my question. So, um, you have a younger brother. Is he going to follow you into the acting scene or does he have his own thing that he does? No, he's actually an amazing cricket player. Um, I know you guys don't have cricket over here, but it's huge in Australia. And um, you now my brother plays like representative sports, so he's um, he's not touching the acting thing. He's kind of just decided that that's my thing, and he's gonna kind of make his own make his own kind of name for himself. So oh, it's that's cool. That's good. Mm -hmm. um, Kempton, yes, go ahead. Yeah. So I understand you have been acting since uh, twelve. So did you grow up with uh, like an actor or actress that you admire, or any Australian actress? Like uh, is Nicole Kidman one of the Australian actress too? Yeah. 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 Naomi Watts. Naomi Watts is great. Mm -hmm. um, I love Kate Blanchett. Um, oh, that's right. There's a lot of Hugh Jackman. Uh, yeah, Hugh Jackman. Um, oh, Ben Mendelsohn is another Australian actor that I love. Um, Guy Pearce. So, Guy Pearce. Um, Heath yeah, Ledger was from Australia. The Heath Ledger. Yeah. yeah. So um, there's a bunch of amazing Australian actors that I always did look up to um, growing up. So yeah. Wow. Cool. Who else has a question? Who else has a question? So do you like living here in America? I do, I do. Um, it takes a bit of adjusting. Um, 
I still get culture shock sometimes. Um, but no, no, I do enjoy it, and I love the work, and I love the people that I work with. So talk about the work a little bit, um, especially being so young. Um, was it what you had imagined it to be here in LA, and what what kind of advice would you like? Can you give to those who are just starting out, particularly those in the younger generation? Right. Um, I think you know parts of it are absolutely as I thought it would be. Um, and there are other things that surprise me, and um, I think that you know it's really important to remember to stay super grounded and mm -hmm. remember what's important, and um, remember to keep hold of like the people that mean something to you. And um, you know, if you if you're passionate about it, go after it because I I love my job and I love the work, and um, being on set is you know my favorite place to be, and that is what feels like home to me. So. If you're like that, then it's absolutely worth it. But there is a lot of other stuff that you know people don't talk about as much. That you know, um, getting recognized like that, that's still weird to me, and it still takes adjusting. And but but wait a minute, you were already a big star in Australia, where you know you were on uh, several hit shows there. Sure, but I mean it's different over there. I don't think the media as is as intense, and um, you know the tabloids aren't as kind of, um, I don't know, it's mean. people don't really care, yeah, people don't really care that much there, so it's just a very different kind of approach, yeah. That's nice, that's nice. Um, who else has a question? Yes, go ahead, Nick. Hey, I was just looking at your wiki and I saw that you also have a passion for music. Do you still make a time for music or, or is acting taking up most of your time? Um, I definitely have to try to make time. Um, it's definitely is a matter of making sure that I do make the time because I am quite busy with acting. But um, yeah, it's something that I do for myself. Um, it's more of kind of I don't write in a journal or anything, so it's kind of my version of that. Um, writing music kind of helps me work through my own stuff and my own issues, and um, so it's kind of like my own little therapy. So I kind of need it. Um, but I don't I don't think I would ever be trying to like release anything really anytime soon. No. I think so. Would you like what I have for myself, you know? No, have you had an opportunity to sing yet on um, The Fosters or, or another show here? Um, yeah, I did a, a Disney Channel musical called oh, Teen yeah, Beach Marie, right. and so um, we're about to start shooting the sequel to that as well, so um, I'll be back in the recording studio, which is fun. So. Okay, last question. Um, I know you are working on The Fosters right now, but is there a role that you would love to play one day, like if you're a particular type of character? That you would like to um, embody? You know, I, I never know the answer to this because I, I haven't even really given it much thought because it's mostly just what I respond to. You know, if it's a character that I have no idea how to approach, like that's why I was so invested in the character of Callie is because, mm -hmm. you know, um, she had a really difficult upbringing and I, you know, didn't. I was really lucky and I had, you know, very hands on parents. So, um, I think it's just if, if there's a character that comes up that I have no idea how to approach and have to really like sink my teeth into, that's kind of what gets Because I would attention. love to play a really bad ass character that will like <laughs> fight you. For sure, and like a yeah. Tomb Raider. Yes, character. exactly. That would be fun. Yeah, right. That yeah. that that would be my dream if I could. Did ever Sam play. call? I always just play myself. I always just play like a reporter. <laughs> Such a stress. What's that? Who said what? Okay. Oh, that was scary. Oh, that was scary. Okay. All right. Well, listen, you guys, thanks so much for joining us. Maya, you can catch Maya Mitchell on uh, The Fosters. It's on, I think, tonight. Is it on it's tonight? tonight? It's on tonight. It's on tonight. Yeah. Tonight on ABC Family at 9 o'clock. All right. Let's take a photo with you before we go. Hang on. Okay, here's my camera app. Here's the camera right here. There's a little bit of a delay, okay? Okay. Ready? One, two, three, two. Oh, wait. Who, was that me or you guys? Wait. Hold on. Yeah, probably all <laughs> <of us. laughs> One, two, three, cheese. Okay. Does that one work? Okay. All right. Thank you. They're, Thanks, they have their Give me a to sign the okay, calendar. No, she remembers. Good. If I can get your autograph here on my calendar. Of course, it fell off. I'm sorry. I don't want my yeah, a lot of pictures. What are they? Paparazzi? <laughs> of course. Um, today is the 16th, right here. Mm hmm. Thank you. I just had yeah, a nice view of you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sweet young woman. Wonderful girl. Um, oh, no, uh, there's some questions here on the side that I forgot to ask. It says here... 
That's for Kathleen. That's coming up. I have a question for Maya. Have you ever completed any voice acting work in your career as an actress? Um, so I haven't seen the Fosters. Does she use her accent in the show, or does she talk American? No, that was the first question I asked. Um, no, she speaks American. Oh, I guess I didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, she speaks American. And, um, she speaks American. It, it, was, it, was, it was kind of funny. Oh, it was kind of funny. Andrew, I'm sorry, I didn't ask the question. Um, Maya, you were on K9. Any Doctor Who? Yeah, right, Doctor Who. So yeah. Sorry about that, Andrew. That I didn't What's get. That? That's where I know her from. Doctor Who. Yeah. Sorry yeah, about K9, that. You need a spin-off. Yeah. Uh, my eyes are so bad now. I really have to uh, get some glasses or something because I just saw that. It, I thought it said Maria, Andrew. I'm sorry. So I just disregard it. And then I looked closer, it says Maya, not Maya. Anywho, um, she was really, really cute. She was fun to talk to. Coming up is Kathleen Robertson, probably in the next 10 minutes. In the meantime, um, quick question. We won't discuss it if, if you don't want us to, if you don't want me to. But did do you guys, besides Nate, watch Game of Thrones? Not yet. So. <laughs> no, it's just Nate. Spoilers. No. Oh, okay. Is so it on cable? Not yet. It's on HBO. HBO Go. HBO. I don't have cable. Oh. Um, I just can't. I can't. I can't have the day go by without talking about it a little bit. So let's just talk just for two minutes, okay? Just two minutes. Let's talk Game of Thrones, if you guys don't mind. So we're gonna talk um, Game of Thrones right now. So if you can, just mute. Uh, and I'll, mute. I'll be right back. <laughs> So I'm like, just mute, yeah, just mute, and then um, and I'll tell you when to come back, okay? So, um, so, 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 Nate, did you watch last night's game of uh, game, game I of did. Thrones? You did, you did. Okay. Uh, favorite part? What was your favorite part? I'm your father. Ah, you're no son of mine. I am your son. <laughs> right? He didn't have very good. Yeah, yeah, he's like, there's like oh, five he, minutes of. Of no. you're my son, you're always my son, and then there's like, yeah. well, the rest of Funny. you're never my son. I'm like, oh, that's good. Cool. No, no, here's the thing. I think he did that on purpose. I think he he purposely didn't want to kill him right away. I think he he, he purposely wanted to make him suffer. he wanted to make him suffer. By the way, speaking of making suffer, I was really impressed by Arya and how she sat there and watched the Hound. You know, as he was dying on on the side of the that that cliff or whatever, and he was begging her to basically kill him, right, to put him out of his misery. Um, and she didn't. No, she took the money and ran. She took his money and ran away, the iron coins, and yeah. she ran. And for a second, I thought she would because they had developed this kind of relationship as much as. She didn't want to, but they had some kind of a relationship, right, where he was taking care of her to some degree. But I think the bottom line is he really wasn't doing it out of um, being nice. He was doing it because he wanted the money for her. Right. So that's the bottom line, right? Yeah, I didn't really like that thing, though, because there were there were two awesome characters, the Hound and, and the other Night Woman. I, oh, I don't Brienne, remember. Brienne of Thor. Of Thor. Yeah. But whatever. they were they were both awesome characters. I'm like, no, team up, don't kill each other. Oh, I couldn't see them teaming up. No way, no way, no way. Um, well, maybe it was a nice a uh, nicer thought than than if it would have actually happened. But um. Yeah. So um, so yeah. So Tywin is dead, which I wanted to happen, right? Didn't I, Tony? Yeah. That's, I'm like, God, it's time for him to go. It is time. <laughs> For him to go, and rightfully so, that Tyrion killed him. I was so happy that he did that, primarily because he found Shay in his bed. Now, here's my question, Tony: Was Shay working for Tywin the entire time? So the entire time she was misleading. I don't think Tyrion. So. I think she was. Now that part was really awesome. Part. Oh, the way he killed her in the bed like that, just choked her? I don't, I don't think she was working for him the entire time. I think she was. I think she was. That's. I don't think she was. I think when he sent, when, when Tyrion sent her away, that really got to her. Even though he was trying to protect her. 
Uh, see, I don't think so. And this is where, anyway, I only said we would discuss this for two minutes, but I really feel like Tywin was behind it the entire time. I think he sent Shay to make Tyrion fall in love with her, oh, only to take her away. No, I don't think so. Well, knowing how, yeah, knowing like the conniving that goes on, it just seems like it would follow the story better if, you know, they were all happy. And then when he sent her away, then the spies or whoever was keeping tabs would be like, okay, now's your chance. She's angry. Go, go, uh, you know, like flip her or whatever. I don't know. I think she was in on it the whole time. You know what? It sounds like you guys are talking about a modern day crime drama instead of Game of Thrones. This is real life, Kim. <laughs> Kim, this is real life. It is not fantasy. Um, now, here's the thing about last night's right. episode. As well. Here's here's what I loved about last night's episode as well. Um, uh, what do you call it? Oh, it it did talk about um, the Wind Walkers. We're back. Oh, sorry, the Night Walkers. The Night Walkers were back. Wind Walkers. That was scary. What the hell? Coming out of the snow like that. Um, oh, Wait, you didn't say White Walkers. Are there, is there a different kind of walker? I said Wind Walker. That's totally different. Not even part of the show. Um, Night Walk. Aren't they Night Walkers? No, what are they called? They're White called Walkers. But that wasn't them. Those are just White like walkers. animated skill. I'm sorry, it's White Walker. But oh, those weren't them, right? Those are them. Those are the White Walkers. But they look different because the White Walkers, they're like blue eyes and they look all zombie-like and these were just like animated skeletons. Yeah, I think those were White Walkers. Yeah. Different hmm. version of them. Tony, those were the White Walkers. Oh, the ones last night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they are. They were, uh, they, how can they look different then? They're are all they a lesser different version? Kinds. Yeah, there's different kinds. I mean, they look... Different depending on, guess I guess because they're really up there by the snow. Maybe they were just skeletons. <laughs> I think they were all different ones. Yeah. If you're watching online and you're you're listening to us, right? Those were the White Walkers. Um, okay. Tyrion and Shay scene in the book is a lot more intimate and sad. Oh, this is according to Andrew. Kind of have a lot of reading to do because we have basically nine ten months before the season starts again. You know, I, I've decided I need to catch up. Like, I, I need to read all the beginning books and then catch up and just read as much as I can. So that's going to be my yeah. goal before the next season starts. That's my goal, too. But hopefully we'll accomplish. Uh, have okay. you started reading it, or you haven't started? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, in, I'm still on book one. Mm -hmm. okay, so have the minute mark. What's that? <laughs> How far in in book one? Kim, Kim, Kim is bored now. now. The two minute mark. Kim okay. is boring. All right, all right, let's go. Let's Are we go. boring you, Kim? We're boring, Kim. No, it's not. By the way, by the way, I'm can I just say? Ignore, I'm trying to say. Ignore ignore hold on. I'm going to watch it. Okay, but so by I the way, I just want to. I just want to say thank you to Kempton, Hector, Kim, and Maria for the invites today. The reason why I didn't join immediately was because I just walked in, two minutes before I joined, from the dentist after getting a second crown fitted. Oh. <laughs> oh. So that's the reason you didn't hit the yes, no, meaty part when Maria sent you the invite. King of you, <laughs> the crown is just on his teeth. Oh, <laughs> that's the second crown. I had one last week and one this week. Okay, so we are not talking about Game of Thrones anymore. All not. Right. So, okay? Was last night uh, no season more spoilers. Season. Now I can pay yeah. attention. No more spoilers. You know what we need to do, though, Nate, is we need to have a separate hangout. Just for Game of Thrones, okay? I would love to do that. Maybe later on today, by time. Make sure you invite me. What's that? We need to have an orphan black hangout too. Yes, of course, Diano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Andrew says that. Keep in mind, George R. R. Martin spends way too much time describing things like how shiny Jamie's armor is. Oh. I you like that kind of stuff, though. I like all those ex explanations in the book. Yes, Kim. <laughs> I'm yes. really looking forward to meeting uh, Kathleen. She's coming right now. She's just yeah. I have one more question. You know, still, right? How much I do you like it? Uh, later today, Maria, the USA I think, I think, Yeah, I, th I think I think Murder in the First so far is looking very good. I've only seen the first yeah. episode. Promising? Uh, you, you watched it, are you? You did? Yeah, I watched the first episode, and it is... But then again, I tend to like anything that Tay Diggs is involved in. Thank you. Yeah, That's my question. So the Mary, it is very good. Acting with Tay Diggs. Well, you know, last week, last week you weren't here, are you? But I don't think uh, Kim, you were here either. 
Or were you? No, no, you were here, right? When we hung out with Nicole Parker. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Um, okay. are, are you gonna tell me on Friday Tay Diggs is gonna be here? You know oh, you have to get Tay. You know what? That's a good question. Uh, let me look and see if we have it on the calendar. Um, because, because yeah, that would be really awesome. Yes. If, uh, uh, let me. You, Ty, she spoke up on that. I mean, Kia, she spoke up on that. She was like. <laughs> Nothing else. All she said was yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's yes, Kia? Yeah. Uh, no. Tay Dig from the show. Oh, Tay, he's so handsome. Go ahead, just say. He's cool. I've been, I've been a, a big fan of his since. How Stella got her groove. Yes. Mm. Oh my, I, 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 I've been a fan of his since Equilibrium. Now or he can Equilibrium, think. as you might, guys might say it. Was the mayor lead? I mean, a, a long time ago. Right? Wasn't he? Um, isn't he also? Doesn't he also sing? Yes. Not was not he, very much anymore. He just does but, acting right now. But didn't wasn't he um, married to? Um, God, what is her name? Um, Dina Menzel. Yeah, I, I thought they just divorced recently. Yes. They just broke up, right? Mm-hmm. Um, well, it says yeah. that the, that he married her in 2003. It doesn't have an end date. Yeah, they just got well, divorced. not not yeah. divorced, but in the yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. he, yeah, they were in Rent together, I believe. That movie yeah. Rent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, so were, uh, oh, oh, also his movie The Best Man. Oh. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Both of the Best Man movies. All those guys. You know, those you know who else you need to get on? Morris yeah. Chestnut. You know, we hung out with... Um, no. What? I don't think we've hung out with Morris, but we've hung out with um, with Boris. Or yeah, I was here for Boris. Yeah. And we also hung out with... Um, hang on. Yes. Kathleen's coming in. Kathleen's coming in. I can't be looking at hot guys. Join oh, us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh guys. All the hot guys. Hi. Hi. It's Maria. Hello. Hi, Kathy. Nice to meet you. Yeah, come, you. come join me here. Next over there. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't, I've never done this before, so I don't really know. Oh, it's well. really fun. <laughs> it's just, yeah, I okay, do all we'll the little things. Like, oh, you I look, like yeah, they'll, they'll walk us through. This is very casual, very informal. And do we look at this This is our this camera, camera right no, here. Camera. Mm -hmm. okay. so it's, on, it's on our YouTube channel. And this is our little microphone here. And what it is is really kind of a behind the scenes look at what we do. And they're all here right now hanging out with us. And In fact, someone just jumped in. Stacy oh, from the Stacey. car. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, let's, let me quickly introduce you guys to uh, Kathleen. Kathleen Robertson, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, has just stepped into the Google Hangout. Um, of course, one of the stars of the new show called Murder in the First. This is on TNT, right? TNT, yes. It's Monday nights. Monday nights. So tonight. Tonight on TNT. Yeah. Um, Kathleen, I want to introduce you to the whole gang here uh, that's hanging out with us. Ayub is with us from the UK. He's in England. Oh, hello. We've got um, Hector from the Inland Empire. Good morning. Uh, John as well in Riverside. Kimpton is in Calgary, Canada. Kim Morning, Kathleen. Hello, Kia Canada. is in uh, Topeka, yeah. Kansas. Hi. Kim is in, uh, say, I'm sorry, Kim, Kansas City. Uh, Nate is in Colorado. Nick is in Dallas. Good and morning. And Stacy is in the car somewhere in North Hi. Carolina. Hi, pink-haired lady. Hopefully not driving. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Just in the passenger car. Okay, cool. Um, I can't, the passenger <laughs> I, I will catch up with you, you getting in an accident. Uh, Stacey, in a little bit because I want to know how your competition went um, the other day. So um, anyway, so Kathleen is on the show called Murder in the First. Last week, by the way, we hung out with uh, Nicole. Yes, uh, Nicole Ari Parker. We had fun with her. Wonderful. And we, if you're if you're not familiar with the show, you guys, I know a couple of you are big fans of the show already, so I will get to you and your questions here in a second. But tell us about your character. You play a police officer, do you not? Yes, uh, so Tay Diggs and I play homicide detectives mm -hmm. in San Francisco, and uh, the show takes place, um, it's a very sort of clean beginning, middle, and end. It's ten episodes, mm -hmm. and it dissects uh, these two seemingly unrelated murders that happened in the first episode over the course of the season, and mm -hmm. so it's a very 
Um, it's not like a typical show where you have a dead body every week. Every it week, sort of right. focuses on one story. Yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah. I like that because yeah. it really goes into all I the like details and the motive. And, yeah. Um, so who has a question? I know that Ayub has one. Go Ayub, do you have one? Go ahead. You go first. Yeah. Well, the, the concept of the show reminded me of an, a very old um, TV show called uh, Murder One, which did something similar, but it uh, took a court case through a season as a legal drama instead. I don't know, have you had any comparisons to other shows? Well, um, our show is actually created by Stephen Bochco, who created that show as well. Ah, um, so that's why there's two Yeah, so we... Um, and Stephen, you know, it was a show that uh, at the time when Stephen did it, he said it was the first. It was the first time anyone had ever done a show like that, and audiences didn't really know what to make of it. And it was very critically well received. But that show was um, was 22 episodes, which was, you know, which he explained was very difficult to do to sustain yeah. it over 22. So um, his feeling was, you know, bringing it, bringing that sort of concept back now after shows like True Detective have done it and The Killing and. So audiences seem to be a little bit more receptive now to that format. So um, I was a huge yeah. fan of that show. I, yeah, I, loved I know. It. it was really a great show. It was really great. Kim, you have a question? Go ahead. Yes, I have been a big fan since Beverly Hills 90210 days. And <laughs> I've watched your career just grow and grow. What are some of the life lessons you've learned in, in, in your industry that have helped you to become the person you are today? Well, I think for me, you know, I have uh, people always ask me sort of how I've been able to manage the work for so many years because I have been an actor now for a very long time. And um, since you were a baby, since, since I was a little, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I, um, I think for me, it's just been about really always focusing on the work and not getting caught up in the sort of um, aspects of the business that can distract you, whether you know, like the celebrity component or the the component of just being, um, you know, focused on stuff that, in my opinion, doesn't really matter, you know, so I just try to really focus on the work, and and um, and I've just always tried to do projects that are different from the last, like the show I was on before this was the show called Boss with Kelsey Grammer, and when when that ended, I, I really wanted to find something where, like, that character was a very, uh, very guarded, very meticulous kind of um, character, and so I was like, okay, well, I want to do something different. So I always try to mix it up and, and do things um, that are different from what I've just done, and and uh, you know, just try to try to be a good person. I, I want to ask you about the business side of it because I, I do. Uh, I am curious. Um, you know, people who watch are thinking about maybe getting into this industry, and um, what your experience was, was like before you got that big break mm -hmm. or your first like real paid gig. Yeah. Um, well, what kind of advice would you give them? Well, it's very, very. It's a very, very difficult business, um, and you have to. Um, I, I really think that it's. You know, I had this amazing acting teacher. Um, you know, after I was on Out of Toronto, I, I don't know if you already already know this because it's sort of public. I've done publicity before and talked about it, but. Um, after I did Not Too Know, I um, I felt that I, that I didn't really know what I was doing really? on an acting front, and I had never really right? trained before. Huh. I'd always been just sort of natural and able to kind of um, get work based on a natural sort of ability. Um, but I really felt that to sort of take my career to where I wanted it to mm -hmm. go, that I needed training. Mm -hmm. And so after that show, um, I, when I left that show, I, I went back to school, oh, and wow. I trained for for years, and um, then I was able to sort of do the kinds of roles that I really wanted to do because I felt like, oh, okay, now I know how to become these different people and access these different things in me that I didn't know how to do before. So I think the most important thing is is education and training and really, really, you know, doing as much theater as you can, reading as many plays as you can, reading as much as you can about the craft of acting because it is, you know, it is a craft if you want to. It's an art. It's, it's, a, it's a craft. Yeah. Um, Nate, yes, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I was wondering. I think I'm like two episodes behind now. As I catch up to every uh, to current, is there anything particular you'd say to look out for or be aware of as I'm catching up in the series? Hmm. In Murder in the, the first? first? Yes. yes. Um, well, only one episode has aired so far. So last Monday was our premiere episode, and it was the um, highest rated I, I had read. Somewhere. Yeah, 4.9 million or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's it was awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we were really, really super happy. But I mean, I think. Um, you can just go to tnt.com and you can watch the episode right now. 
when we finish doing this. And then you'll be, right caught, now, right after. You'll be yeah. caught up for tonight's episode. So, yeah, if you go to, uh, I believe, you know, TNT.com, you can watch the episode. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the great thing about TV now, right? You can or catch Apple up on TV, everything. I'm sure you can. Or yeah. Apple TV, you can Nick, get it. Nick. iTunes. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Nick, go ahead. Question. You said that you like all of your roles to be different than the, the one before. What's still on your list of roles that you like to take on? Or genres or, or whatever? Hmm. Well, I love doing period oh, stuff. Oh, period pieces. Mm. I like Especially yeah. with your rock and new hair, dude. I love <laughs> My super short. I love hair. it. Thank you. It's I know. Very I was, bold. I love it. Very bold. But it looks um, fantastic. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I would love to do some some more period things, and I write as well. I'm a writer, so I have a couple of projects that I'm um, that I'm working with right now, um, working with different producers on. So um, I really I really hope that my writing uh, becomes something that is, is more of a focus in my life because I, I really do love to write. Yeah. Uh, who had a question? Was it Kia? Kia, go ahead. Hi. Kia, oh, Kia, unmute. Unmute yourself, Kia. Oh, hi. Okay. Okay, hi. Sorry about that. It's okay. okay. So, you know, I am the fashion person here, and I noticed that dress immediately. So can you stand up and, <laughs> and let us take a look? My dress? Like, right on trend. You like it? <laughs> what yes, trend? you are right on trend. It's on uh, print. It's, um... Yeah, who is that? It's uh, it's a local LA designer actually, uh, Corey Lynn Coulter. Oh, Corey uh, Lynn Coulter. Corey Lynn Coulter. Yeah, she's she, LA girl. You can write about that one, Kia. Um, Captain, yes. Have a question. Yeah, Kathleen, I really love your kitty in the boss. Can you talk oh. about your experience working with uh, Kelsey and everyone? It's everyone is good, and you are great. I I love your kitty. Thank you, thank you. I um, I I would have to say that was probably for me. Um, other than Murder in the First, of course, it was probably my my favorite role that I've ever done and my favorite job that I ever worked on. It was um, it was just such a great great show, and Kelsey was, you know, it was really interesting working with Kelsey because we all, of course, knew him as such a strong comedian, and and the role was so dark and it was so different than anything he'd ever done before. So the very first day of filming, you know, I was sitting there with Martin Donovan, and we were both kind of going, oh, let's see how this is gonna go, and he did his first big scene and his first big monologue, and we just kind of went. Okay, yeah. I think we're gonna be okay. <laughs> yeah, he was he was incredible. It was sad. It was sad that we only got to do two seasons yeah. of that show. It's um, it a great one. Ayub, yeah. go ahead. Ayub, what's your question? Um, just leading on from Kempton's question. Some might think this was planned, but it wasn't. Um, somebody who is doing something very different but involved in your show is um, uh, the uh, the um, seeming bad guy character played by the guy who played. Uh, Draco Malfoy, Tom and Felt. seeing yeah, and seeing Draco Malfoy speaking in an American accent as an older guy was that freaky at all? Yeah, he was. Um, you know, I wasn't really aware of the sort of frenzy that surrounded you know anyone involved in that movie, and people were were pretty excited to see him, you know, when we were on location and, you know, kids would just go kind of crazy for him and he, he's wonderful. I he's great in this role too. I have one question from someone who's watching on YouTube. Um, does Kathleen's husband Chris pronounce his last name Coles the way I do? Ah. I'm also a Coles, by the way. I love you in Tin Man. Oh! Yeah. Wait, I can't see that. Let me see. Oh, it's right here. So you're married. Coles. Uh, K-O-H. Yeah. It, that's it right. Like it's store? Coles. That's it very. Like store Coles? It's like the store Coles. Okay. Yeah. Not Cowles. No. No. That's no. Right. No. Good question. That thanks. Is a good one. <laughs> thanks for uh, sending that in. So, um, you guys, if there's no more questions, I'm gonna let Kathleen go. Don't forget to check out the show called uh, Murder in the First. It is on TNT and it's on tonight. So it's the second episode. So you have time to catch up. Thanks for joining. Thanks. 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 Let's take a quick photo before you go. Yes. yes. Okay, here's our camera right here. Hey you guys, there's a little bit of delay. Okay, ready? Okay, one, two, three, two. There! Oh, did it work? Uh, I think so, yeah. That's such a sexy pose. I like what you're doing. <laughs> so you know the red carpet. So you guys... The tricks. Yeah. yeah. You always do a little side. You do a little, a little side. side. 
Thank you. Autograph calendar. Of course. Actually, anywhere here that's good. Father's Day and do it right here. Anywhere? Sure, yeah, anywhere. Can we also get a picture of the dress? Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. See you next time. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. Tony, your lunch or breakfast smells so good. Um, Every okay. time. Wait, is that who I think that is? Tashaka? Tashaka! Oh. Hello, stranger. What up, dog? Hello, dog. Hello, baby. Oh, my goodness. What's this hairy man? Look How y'all doing? Look You're big. Oh, my goodness, for real. Y'all know who he is? <laughs> Am I okay with that? I'm fine with it. Fine. Is, your, is your wife okay with that? Is your daughter okay with that? <laughs> the, 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 the wife uh, likes it very much. I also keep it very soft. It is soft. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Shaka, can I just say, uh, yes. belated Happy Father's Day. And, yes. and the same oh, thing. Yeah, happy Father's Day to you guys, too. Yes. Really quickly, I want to catch up with Stacey because before we lose her, Stacey, how did we do in the competition? I did not place, but I looked fierce. You and are fierce, so girl. <laughs> I did the thing that um the thing that got points deducted from me is because I was too muscular. What? Oh. Yeah. Um. Well, I did bikini, and bikini is literally right. like, hey, you just walked off the beach and you look really hot in a little swimsuit, so let's put you on stage and. I should have done um, physique, which is one step up. Right. So yeah. I think if I do another one, I'm going to do physique and just kind of go all out and get all like sexy and muscly and stuff. Ooh. Oh my god. Mm. Well, what was the first thing you ate after your competition? Um, honestly, I, <laughs> I got home and all I wanted to do was shower. And take my fake eyelashes off because they spray tan you like a million times, and you can't like you can't even wash your hands after you go to the bathroom because that's what if that's what Tony and I do. Then it ruins your spray tan. Oh, I didn't so even I just recognize you at first. And I had a piece of gluten-free pizza, and then I went to bed and slept okay. for twelve hours. Oh, uh, Stacy, I, I hope off. you didn't take my Oompa Loompa joke badly. No, not at all. It was hilarious, and good, I did, and I good, still kind good, of look good. like one because that. I'm stained orange. But it's yesterday, I posted a picture yesterday of all the foods. That oh, I, I did. Ate. Oh, I didn't. See. I'll, I'll, I'll look at your stream for sure. Um, Stacy, is that Effie back there? No, that's Donovan. Oh, that's, say hi to oh, that's Donovan. Hi, Donovan. <laughs> oh, he's showing us his new truck. Uh -huh. Um. Anyway, it's good to it's good to see you. you look fantastic, and I'm glad that that that's over for now. Yeah, so I think I'm yeah. gonna do another one in October. So. Okay, well, you'll you'll do well, I'm sure. Um, okay, you guys, well, listen, it's 9:45. I'm gonna get going. Um, have a great day. It was good to see all of your faces. I will see you on Friday. I'm gonna look ahead to the calendar. I don't have time to do it now, but if someone big. Of course, um, if I see it on the calendar, I'll let you know, and we'll have a hangout in between. But otherwise, we'll plan on Friday. And don't forget your Game of Thrones. Come on, someone big. Come in. I know, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. And invite me to You guys. If you have time for a Game of Thrones hangout, just uh, throw me a link. Da 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 we didn't get any clear pictures of Kathleen. That stinks. I have one. You have a clear the one? one? The one where she vogue to the side. Oh, yeah, where she vogue. Uh-huh. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I uh, already saved that one. I was looking for a front-facing one that was clear, but we don't have one. Oh, no. Wait a minute. What about this one? No, she's still moving. It was uh, the bandwidth goes down when people are taking pictures. So. Oh, I have one. You do? Hold on, I'll send it to you on chat. All right. Let me see. 
there's the link for it. Okay. Is that one clear enough? Let me look real quick. It. Oh, that's a that's a hangout link. Oh, why won't it let me send you? Oh the darn. Oh, um, uh, I'm not sure, okay. but that was a Hangout link. They tried to. Can you send me your email on here, and I'll just email it to you? It's a really clear shot of her and Maria right next to each other. Oh, when they they were turned to the side, because I got that one. Um, they were forward facing, I believe. Okay. Uh, let me see. If you circle me, you can uh, send me a chat box too, and send it over that way. Okay. Okay. So, all right. See you on Friday. All right. See you then. Thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm.